Welcome to the Chop Up, episode 32, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Moving along. I guess we can't start the episode without our sponsor. Official sponsor. Our official sponsor, Liquid Death. Oh, shoot. All right. Oh, shit. Damn, thank you. You. One, you got one down there for me or what? Hey. Oh, ooh, there we go. Thanks, right. buddy. Thank you. All right, now we can get this thing rolling. Cheers. 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 All right, so here we are. We're back uh, downstairs, and we got a client here with us, Will from the Last U.S. Bag Company. Good to see you. Welcome. Thanks. Yes, Thanks. happy Thanks. to have you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited to have you on. We've been, we've worked with you on multiple projects, which we'll dig into. Um, at the same time, we moved on from that and worked on a, a Lincoln product as well that we'll yep. talk about. Very so, cool. Yeah, yeah, you were nice enough to kind of let us get our hands dirty and design a product um, that you guys produce. So super excited to show everybody that at the end. Um, but we'll kick it off with kind of digging into the logo. You came to us yeah. for rebranding and just kind of talk about that whole process. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny. I found Lincoln through Roadcast through uh, Riff Creative yeah. and I watched the episode and your background the skateboard industry and all yeah. of that was just appealed to me instantly because that's what where i grew up you know and that for sure and i was like he gets it how do i get him right that's cool. so that's when i reached out okay and it was funny because i reached out to you and then you came back and you're like hey your logo looks a little tired you know? <laughs> yeah. and and the funniest thing about that is i you know by by education i have a, a degree in graphic design but i'm like the world's worst graphic designer uh, <laughs> but i just faked it through school yeah. and um i'm like i need a professional to redo this and it needs to look right and it was like a perfect marriage yeah it was great yeah. I mean, I was shocked to find out that you guys were here in Vancouver. I'm like, shit, you're down the street. I was shocked to hear you were in Vancouver. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why is this guy with this huge, you know, resume right. living here? Yeah. 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 We were in Portland and we moved it across the river. Rightfully you know, so. Yeah. A year yep. and a half ago. Yep. Yep. Smart so, decision. Yeah. yeah. So we're now we're in Vancouver and yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Loving it. Absolutely. So. Yeah. So the logo was tired and it, it was, it was goofy. It was like a something we threw together probably back in 2014 or something like that. And okay. we'd been using it and different iterations of it for branding across um, our like domestic OEM production and our domestic industrial bag line, which yeah. carries a different color uh, theme. But it was never something I was like, oh, this is great. You know, I was right. like, it works. Yeah. It looks like a padlock. I mean, it's like, what, are we, what are we doing? That was my yeah. first thought. I'm like, yeah. oh, wh what is this lock? And then I, yeah. uh, the more you look at it and you read into the name, you're like, oh, okay, it's a bag. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. I think it was. I'm kind of embarrassed right, cool. right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Looking at it, are you? <laughs> I mean, like, can we switch? Uh, it screen? does a lot of the things you want it to do, it but, does. but yeah. you know, can you name which ones? Well, those it, are? It, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, to me, I see the bag for yeah. sure. It's got your, you know, your all, all your letters in there and you know, the U S with the blue and the red yeah. kind of comes yeah. through and there are some things that it's hitting on for sure. Yeah. It's but, not bad to have the bag in there. So I got to give know? you some credit, you know, thanks. You guys are super kind <laughs> <laughs> and charity is always accepted. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, let's dig into it. So right. you guys started out in the construction industry, right? As far as um, making bags? Really, we started in the military side. Okay. So we were building military products from about 2001 to 2000. Well, we still build them, but really till about 2012, that was a major component of the revenue stream for the company. Okay. It, it, incredibly volatile, incredibly difficult to predict. Um, it was, you're always chasing the next contract and it was, it was a real challenge. Yeah. So we were um, working with a Danish um, wind turbine manufacturer back in 2007 and eight. And they asked me to redesign some products that they were having issues with out in the field. And that got us into the industrial market work at height safety, where we build payload carrying vessels that protect assets and personnel. So really what we're doing there is we were preventing loss. Right, so you either have loss of an asset or you have loss of personnel, and both of those are very expensive. Yeah. So we build really high-end, highly engineered safety products for that work at height market, and then we jump into outdoor rack and a lot of other different kind of categories that yeah. that soft goods are needed. 
Okay. No apparel. I grew up in yeah. Iowa, and I got to see a ton of uh, wind farm, you know, the, yeah. the towers and things like that. It's crazy how tall they are. It's big. 300 know? feet. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Fun going up in one. Oh, you've you been up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. That's not not for me. Up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, we go up to, yeah. you know, it's funny. When you see them from below, you don't realize how big they are. And then when you get up on top, you realize how small they are oh. because they're inside of there is this incredible amount of mach- equipment. And so you're crawling over heavy metal objects and you have hardly any head space. You're constantly banging your knees and your head. It's so tough. Yeah. So tough. But yeah, that's kind of the background. Then we got into outdoor rec much heavier in the last five years. Yeah. Um, Primarily because a lot of our products were being used in the venture based vehicle travel based market or overland kind of crowd. Yeah. And so we saw an opportunity and we were doing it as well. So we're like, every time you cut fabric, you end up with what we call drop, right? And it's this waste fabric. And historically, it's like, you know, 15% of your material goes to waste, right? And every day I looked at that and I was like, what are we doing? You know, we got to do something different. So the first step we can take is we can design waste out of the product. But then the second thing we could do is any waste that we do have, what else can we repurpose it into with it, with minor amount of processing? Yeah. And so we found, uh, you know, pouches, small things like the things you see on the table here yeah, like that we could take, yeah, cutoffs yeah. or the end rolls, like a four yard end roll that the dye lot is never going to match again. You would take that product or that, that raw material and then you could convert it into something like this. And it, you know, it's a little bit of a patchwork quilt of colors, but we try and, you know, we coordinate pretty well. And it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it makes everything unique, yeah. you know, so we For might, sure. we might only be able to produce, you know, a couple dozen of those. Yeah. You know? That one is really cool. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 And, orange. And that's one of those, uh, yeah, that's the waste from your bag. Oh, is it? Yeah. From the inside of the bag? Yeah. The orange. Cool. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. a great orange. It's resourceful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, haven't seen, I haven't seen the orange yet, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great. Super yeah. popping. Super oh, yeah. popping. Perfect. Yeah, so that allowed us the opportunity to start building. The, the, the sad thing about it is, in a way, is that the sales from that are, are growing, right? And so we're, we've got this, you know, kind of growth rate in the outdoor industry. We're not creating enough waste now for uh, to support it. To support it, but yeah. there's other ways to get around that. There's <clears throat> ways to buy, you know, eco-friendly fabrics and things that are of recycled nature that that we can guarantee are recycled, mm-hmm. which is kind of rare in the textile industry, and yeah. then turn those into cool products. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's dig in. Yeah, to the logos here. So we sent over. I think this first round was six different logo comps. Um, it was kind of open as far as your uh, your brief and what you're looking for. Yeah. It was definitely, um, you know, you wanted the, the U.S. And, and bag to kind of scream at you. So we kind of dug in. This first one here, um, a little bit more angular. Mm-hmm. A little, uh, I would say it's a little it's a little tough. Almost military inspired. Uh, yeah, you know? for sure. Can yep. see some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Number two. Uh, so this one got high praise from a lot of the team. Did it? Yeah, it was very um, like no, like George Lucas, you know, kind of. Yeah. It went, you know, right into that kind of sci-fi yep. look, and then the wind turbine was was hot. And I think, I think we all love this, especially for that one market. Yeah. But it, you know, for us, it like we didn't want to pigeonhole the brand into one market, but this is like one of those secondary icons you'd make an entire marketing campaign around. Absolutely, you know? yeah, yeah, we love this for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah e- really even fun. as a T graphic or, or something for that industry. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this one's yeah. really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would have been tough if you did run with this to then put this on your outdoor. You know, bag yeah. That, I mean, everyone would be like. Jeep. Why do we need a fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> for sure. So I, I, this was one of my, yeah. This one's I love su- it. Super yeah. good. This is you, right, Jordan? Uh huh. Yeah, very clean. Good like, more modern, you yeah. know. Yeah. Just focusing on that letter form. Definitely timeless. Yep. For sure. Has some strength. And then this yep. one. A little bit more on the uh, the outdoor side. Totally. You know? Yeah, and this this had high praise too. Yeah. You know, especially for that market. Yeah. 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 We love the the you know the shield looks like a highway sign. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what we're you know that's what we're all about is this adventure and travel, yeah. and it kind of carries that theme forward. Uh, it's got you know again kind of that military surplus lettering. And Stenciled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally cool. Yeah. yeah. This could be a great. Yeah. A great T or, or actually patches on the bags. Oh, for <coughs> sure. I yeah. love the A with the tree. For sure. Yeah. 
which this was Dave, right? Yep. Yeah. Good job, Dave. Yeah, Dave. Super Dave crushed cool. it. Yep. This was one of my favorites. Me too. This yeah. this one in the in the actual one that you guys picked in the end, but but I love this one. This is I you do too. too, Jordan. Right? Uh huh. It was yeah. pretty much Dave and you on this project. I think whole it was project. just us yeah. too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 So this is a fun one. It's cool. It. it you know. It's one of the things that drew me to this immediately was the kind of nautical look. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. It was. It was like there's movement. You know, with the kind of italicized look to it. There's movement in it. It looks current. You know, it looks like it's like, look at us move by you. I know mm -hmm. that, that sounds so stupid, but whatever. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it just, and I loved yeah. the way you wrapped the banner on that. That cool. to me was like the, the detail that gives it dimension that yeah. makes it all come together. Right on. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I had a fun time with that one. And then this one, you just saw this one again recently. I did. And you liked that bottom I, right. I did. I was yeah. looking at that. I'm like, why didn't we make a mm -hmm. patch out of that? <laughs> it's a good patch yeah. graphic. Yeah. All of them are. I mean, yeah. you can do something with all of them, right? And, yeah. and that one is is incredible for that. Um, it almost like it jumps to it jumps out to me as kind of almost in the comic, not mm. Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> but don't in like Comic Sans. Sans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not Comic Sans, <laughs> but in the in kind of that comic theme, right? Like it's Absolutely. it's very superhero. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, it I, is, yeah, I love it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, I think the challenge with your logo is the L U S B. You know, like getting those so they read right mm -hmm. and, and separate so the U.S. Yeah. is on its own. Yeah. Um, Dave did a good job of, you know, bringing that U.S. to the front. But the combination of those four letters <clears throat> where you're not looking at it and trying to read it like a word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I, I can't tell you how many people call us and say, are you Last Us Bag Company? Really? Yeah. Oh, like, shoot. And that's where your original logo, I felt like really read like that. Yeah. Like that one, I was like, whoa, I don't know what I'm reading here. Yeah. You know? We'll get so. to something when we come to the end because I think there was like two options where we had, um, like, oh, yeah, here it is. Um, yeah. The, the, the U.S. as like underlined versus yes. two dots yeah. or periods or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What read the most as U.S. Yeah. So this one, the last two. Oh, so this one here. Yeah. <coughs> round two, I think we got deeper into this one. And, and what we did at, at the office, we, yeah. we printed these out you know, large format, Did put you? them on the walls. Everybody came through the office oh, and cool. voted nice. and said, you know, and then we took, you know, surveyed everybody in the company to kind of see where it came. And we picked our top three and then we did a secondary vote on that to see where we would go. And then, you awesome. know, we wrote a list out of uh, different things that we knew that we wanted to see edits on. Yep. And then from there, uh, you guys went into round Perfect. two. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Let's jump into round two. I mean, you'll see on this last one, it was pretty close. Y it is. And you guys yeah. came back and you're yeah. like, this one's yeah. headed, definitely headed in the right yeah. direction. So moving on to round two, you were still trying to push for the windmill. Yep. 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 <laughs> that one made it through. Yep. And then we, and then uh, like we said, the, uh, the patch. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of people like that one. Yeah. And I, you know, it was, um, we went back to the more cyan mm -hmm. yep. color. The mm -hmm. color palette you had. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Because it, you know, everybody that does, and, and forgive me here, but it kind of comes ubiquitous with just the red, white, and blue is always the same red, white, and blue. The Navy. And I was like, yeah. how do you differentiate from that, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I get that we're the U.S. bag company and we want the flag and the patriotism of it, yep. you know? Yeah. So you're looking at one right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it, we wanted it to be our own, and yeah. we didn't want it to. And so we had that. That's the one carryover that we did yeah. from previous mm -hmm. was to ca kind of carry some cyan over. And that's you'll see that in the catalog, too. Yeah. There is, you know, some value in that brand recognition or history that you've built you yeah. know, already. So something like that carrying over makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So moving on to the next one. Ah, uh, yeah. So this one, um, and there's two different versions mm -hmm. here where I think you wanted to see it in a kind of a standard yes. navy. Yep. In crimson red. Yep. And then on the basically the difference is the U.S. Mm -hmm. on the U.S. bag. And I love both. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we we use them both to be do honest. You? Yeah, oh, really? we do. Okay. We do use both yeah. kind of color schemes yeah. depending on what the what the opportunity is. Okay. But really, what it came down to was that round badge on the on the lower right there. That this one here. Yeah, uh, this yeah. Bad boy. Yeah. Made it yeah. into the real world. Yeah. It did. Yep. Yeah, and it made onto our you know onto our sweatshirts. Yeah, sweatshirts and, and yeah. 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 Jordan did a great job. With just yeah. that whole lock up and it it really embodies so much of what we wanted it, you know it's it's got the vintage look right mm -hmm. it's got the yep. vintage americana look it it gives us our location tells us where we're at on the map the time tested is something that i've 
I struggle with a little bit in the sense that oftentimes you'll see brands say, you know, good stuff over time or something, you know, but the reality is why do we buy U.S. product? It's because we believe in its durability. And its durability isn't just its ruggedness. It's not just the fact that I can grind it on a, on a rock. The durability is the fact that 20 years from now, I want to hand down that product to my grandson, yeah. right? That's more the definition of the durability than just its rugged behavior, so right. to speak. Yeah. And I thought this was met, married really our kind of our culture and a modern look at it. I love the way you intertwine the LUSB. I thought yeah. it, I, that was the best version of that oh, in thanks. all of them. Uh, no offense, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that was our that, that definitely landed with a lot of emphasis for us. Yeah. yeah, it was a tricky little matchup, you know, to get all those to lock together for sure. But thankfully, yeah. I was able to think of it as like almost a thread going yeah. through a you know piece of canvas or yes. something. So yeah. yeah, and I'm sorry I didn't mention that a second ago because that's exactly what what we saw. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that's that came exactly through. what we saw. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, it's and cool. this is timeless. Yeah, this it thing is. can live on, you know. It will live it's on. It's not going to yeah. be dated in 20 years, so. Yep. Great choice. Yeah, Jordan. Jordan oh, yeah, and then should one. we talk about the, you know, the periods versus the underscore? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the underscore still, like, created confusion for some, some people, and so we were like, you know what? The U.S. creates confusion for everybody. Right. right, it's either us, us or yeah. you know. So just put the periods in and call it good, <laughs> yeah. and then we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And you know, I think it was the right move. Yeah. I yeah. think so too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it beautiful. Looks, looks great. Yeah, on the company trucks, we had the 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 badge, yeah. um, and we leave it like that. We don't use the the primary. Yeah, icon. Yeah, we, guys, we use just the icon, cool. the badge, yeah. and then Actually, on the, the um, yeah, and yeah. then stickers and things yeah. like that. We'll. Yeah, that's cool. It's yeah. nice to have pieces that you can use in little scenarios or whatever. What works best? Indeed, know. like you see it on the monitor there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. Man, that's awesome. And that's what we try to do with a lot of clients when building out or doing their branding is offer kind of this kit, you know, that you can pull it apart. You can't just give them this, you know, say this top lockup. You gotta, you gotta offer some other layouts and options for yeah, sure. Because on yeah. the truck, you know, or or whatever it is, different applications, you have different needs. Yeah. So like that, you know, top left, just that icon on your truck looks great. You don't need all the type. I, I agree. And, you know, one of the things that I was uh, admired about what you do here, the work you do, is the fact that you have the acceptance of that. Like there's, you've come from the skateboard industry or, you know, you've got a yeah. lot of relation to that. Yeah. I don't know a skateboard industry that doesn't screw with their logo every yeah. board, right? right. It's, yeah, exactly. it's different yep. every time. Absolutely. And. I, I was thinking, I'm like, that's the kind of openness I want it to be. I want it to be able to be represented in a similar fashion, have consistency, continuity throughout, mm -hmm. right? But it needs to be represented slightly different around different, in diff for different forms, different yeah. needs, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, we're, we're super stoked. It looks like you guys are. You guys are using the crap out of it. That's one thing we, we talk are. about on this, on this as well is that we, we've done branding projects in the past. You hand it over to the client and then the client goes to implement those new logos and then realizes oh shit this new signage all these stickers new catalog is going to cost us a shit ton of money and then they either pause on it or they just take year you know years to actually start to implement it and right away i kind of saw that you guys it was on your doors on your trucks everyone yeah. was walking around well i i have a sin sincere argument with what with the folks that do that uh, yeah, and that is that you're investing in you. Uh huh. Absolutely. Why would you spare any expense, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. when you go and buy your countertop, do you want to buy a you know a piece of formica, or you want yeah. to get some nice Italian marble, or what? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like you're making an investment in yourself, and you're promoting yourself. It's Absolutely. a marketing tool. I don't yeah. really understand why you would yeah. restrain. I understand budgets. Yeah. But you got to get creative with it. Yeah. I mean, you can get around a budget. Trust oh, yeah. me. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. You got to put it to use, though. You got to yeah. put it to work. You That's know, right. That logo. Yeah. And it's and it, we can only we can only hand it over. It's up to you as a yeah. you know business owner or the marketing people at your you know in your company to take that and actually put it to use. That's on right. Products and different things. So and yeah. it's a lot of effort, though. You a know, ton. You got to have people there that can you know lay those things out or come back to you know a, a company and say hey i need some teas you know this yeah. and that it doesn't just show up on on shit not know? usually so, yeah yeah <laughs> you know? i mean I, yep. unless merlin's on yeah, your staff you know? yeah <laughs> so 
Yeah, very good. So we're, we're, we're super happy, super happy to see you guys using it. Yeah. Um, so it was cool. So we wrapped up the, the brandy portion yep. and then quickly right away, you're like, okay, we got that done. Let's roll into the catalog. Yeah. So, so um, catalog was primarily for rec because our industrial catalog is too big and changes too often. Gotcha. And we wanted yep. to have something a little bit more tangible for rec that spoke to that audience a little bit more directly. And that's okay. uh, therefore we went after the uh, vehicle based travel market and um, more of the outdoor kind of imagery yep. and that type of thing. Cool. And, Very cool. Uh, yeah. So like I was saying in the beginning, it was basically Dave and Jordan who worked on this project for the whole branding. So. Jordan wraps up the logo, thing's amazing, hand it over to you guys, you come for the catalog, so then basically uh, Dave jumps in, takes mm -hmm. over the catalog. Let me go grab that guy. So yeah, get, yeah, yeah right. Dave. let's get Dave down here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome Dave. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hi yes. Dave. Hey, how's it going Will? Good. We, Good to uh, have you here. We had nothing but compliments about your work on our brand. That's amazing. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, we ran through your logos. The you know, the windmill one was a very close second to, oh, really? to Jordan's. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. 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 So we ran through that, um, wrapped up the whole logo part. So now we're gonna dig in quickly to the uh, to the catalog. Yeah, one of the first projects I worked it was. on here at Lincoln. So yeah. I had a fire under my butt just to do a good job and not mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. raise any red flags. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. It was also a good chance to dust off my uh, InDesign skills and yeah dive back into that how yeah. do you feel about InDesign I love it um for this kind yeah. of project I wouldn't work yeah. in any other program okay yeah why you still on cork or what <laughs> huh <laughs> there's got to no other yeah, option yeah. nowadays yeah true. when, when true. I was at DC shoes we used cork express yeah, to do all of our things. catalogs and then InDesign came out and they're like, hey, you know, we have Adobe, like maybe you guys should try this. Everyone's like, hell no, no yeah, way. Why would we? Right? Yeah. And yeah. so I basically, when I left DC, we were still all, all on cork um, for the catalogs. Yeah. And then, you know, I, I kind of moved on and switched to InDesign, but yeah. cork was like it. Yeah. Yep, so. That's what I learned in college. Was and, it? Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was yeah, funky to me. So yeah. <laughs> when I did yeah. it into InDesign, I was like, this is great. Where yeah. has this been all my life? Yeah. So, so my complaint on yep. that is that I still think that some of the tool features aren't consistent enough among uh, across like Illustrator oh, to absolutely. InDesign I to Photoshop. I think a lot of people will complain that, about that. Yeah, it drives me crazy. For sure. You know? yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. I think Adobe is slowly <laughs> catching on and kind of so. yeah. yeah, make it all look the same. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's dig into this real quick. Um, so Dave sent over two different catalog covers, yeah. uh, different fonts up top, and yeah. actually at this time. I think you had started it before the logo was 100% uh, yeah. the buy-off. And yeah. that's why in the top left, we have the old logo on yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Look we how weren't corny sure, right? it looks. <laughs> the the old logo in the end looked a lot better up top. Uh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So. <laughs> so let's just roll through here real quick. Yep. On this is. page, you do see it up top. Yep. So we Yeah. And you kept the, the kind of that transparent overlays that you have. And mm -hmm. That jagged look gives it that kind of mountain theme right yeah. it just it was brilliant it was like instantly brilliant for yeah, us we were cool. like yep this works and then i really think <clears throat> you know with your guys's decision to stick with the cyan yeah you know and that that lighter brighter red i think that really lends itself to this catalog yeah if it was a dark navy you know with that deep red i don't think it'll look as good sitting with so much white yeah and you know the the blue and the red are important right because it is a u.s brand yeah. and we make everything in the u.s in vancouver washington we do you know we don't import our textile products we make them here and yeah. we want to carry that theme forward because we believe in this local economy we believe in the jobs that we create that's important to us yeah that's great yeah. that's important to us too yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> that's why we like working with you yeah. guys yeah 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 so yeah so kind of rolling through here so like you said this was this is your soft goods outdoor product yeah. catalog. Yep, you know? and it, and some of this carries over into our industrial as well, like okay. the hand lockers. Um, we a lot of our industrial clients use them for sorting tools and you know sm sockets and things like that. Yeah. Document pouches are obviously for manuals and things like that. Um, yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah, I love how all your products have that LUSB number code kind of product name. Oh um, well, you're one of the few that likes that. So really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They don't like it back. That's at why the I really wanted to play it up like in the catalog, kind of just highlight uh, each one of these things has its own number, and I don't. 
it's it, it's it's just one of those things that you know you grow to if you have a good memory it works really well mm -hmm. if you don't it's not so hot yeah. Yeah. well yeah you guys yeah. have a ton of products so we do I'm sure it gets yeah. a little yeah. bit much at some point but you know so 99 to 107 on here right and yeah. so you, what you'll see is that there's uh, there's 100 and all the way through 106 those are other products probably for other industries that's why these aren't in sequence oh wow. okay. okay so when we get up into the 500s yeah. you're like Wow, yeah, that many products. Yeah. Like, not really. Okay. But gotcha. it just we, you know, every design revision gets a number, and okay. so every time we build a design, it gets a new number. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then Dave, I know in the beginning, <clears throat> Dave was kind of, kind of like, there's a lot of, a lot of products, and mm -hmm. each product has a lot of colorways. So you yeah. solved that problem with the swatches in the bottom. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, which is great. Yeah. Like you don't have to show every a photo of every single color colorway yeah. in the catalog. You know. Yeah. The consumer will get it, and with those swatches, it looks great. Yep, it's perfect. Yeah, um, the layout's great. The and it's such a port. The PDF is such a great format. Obviously, I mean, it's I mean, it's not new or anything, but it it gives us that flexibility to make a change if we needed to very, it's very quickly. Very easy to update it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. you know add a page. Dave, yeah. fix it. You know, yep. Dave fixes it, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. One of my favorite parts of, of uh, putting together this catalog was going through all the product and lifestyle photo mm -hmm. photography oh, you provided. Yeah. yeah. Um, just seeing the products in action and use just on the overlanding gear and yeah. the trucks. It's really yeah. cool for me. And, and, you know, my favorite part is I get to go show my buddies that I like this is a Death Valley trip, right? Yeah. And Tea Kettle Junction and my buddies sticker is right there Oregon AT you know and That's so great. I yeah. put little Easter eggs yeah, you know yeah. make those little Easter eggs go a long way with our, our partners in the industry they're yeah. like oh we made your catalog I'm like yeah 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 it's cool yeah pay it's us. always great yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> it's cool Kidding. but you know we've had clients come and I mean without great photography it's really hard to make a catalog it is you know, product yeah. photography yeah. and then lifestyle yeah. you know and a lifestyle is gonna make or break it if you don't have any lifestyle and it's all product, it's gonna yeah. be a boring catalog. But you gotta be, you gotta go out there to get the lifestyle. You, you know? do, and you do, and that that's part of uh, part of kind of the ethos of the company is that you've got to be able to go do the stuff that we that we're selling to, or else you know we we're just imposters at that yeah. point, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and yeah, rolling through here, great. I think the layout yep. was great. Dave killed it on this. Um, yeah. yeah. We're super stoked. You guys I, are still using it to this day? Every day. Cool. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we typically add about two to four dealers a month in okay. this category, yeah. and this is our marketing tool. Is it? For that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's great. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Great and so I'm, I'm so proud of the work that we did, and you know what I'm really proud of is the fact that I didn't try and build a catalog. Right. I finally yeah. said I need a professional. Because I've built all the catalogs for the company in the past. Yeah. I'm like, why am I doing this? Yeah. You know, I'm not even that good at it. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't even send you the old yeah. stuff. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> at, at, at some point, it pays to have a professional. It know, does. Step in yeah. uh, on a lot of things, you know. You yeah, for to, sure. Trying like to dentist. do some construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to do <laughs> construction. Yeah. Things even, like that. Yeah. yeah, even shit around the house. You're like, oh, I'll build that countertop. And then you get it done, and you're like, damn, maybe I should have paid somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, you know. Like, hindsight. Yeah, yeah when, the, so. when the bowl rolls off because yeah. you didn't level it yeah well i'm yep. glad it's working out for you guys love it good yeah. work dave yeah dave dave yep. killed it so yeah oh, so wrapped yeah. up the catalog um and then we had had conversations in in the beginning you know i was like hey i love your product i've always wanted to make basically a laptop bag i carry a bag to work every day with my laptop in it um you know i reached out to you and was like is, is there any way to make something like that happen and you're like absolutely let's make a lincoln bag you know so i was super stoked i've in the past I've done bags for uh, different companies. Uh, we did a whole line of Adidas golf bags, which was mm. super cool back in the day. Um, we did some stuff for the for Luminox uh, mm -hmm. backpacks and briefcase bags. So I've designed bags before, um, but never anything for myself, you mm -hmm. know? So I was super excited to do it. So kind of dug into that, sent you guys over um, basically samples of bags you know in illustrator files and things i've done in the past and mm -hmm. i want to run it by you hey is this what you're going to need from me to basically lay out and do the bag you know yeah. i wasn't sure if you guys had a whole template or process and you're like no that's, that's exactly what we need give yeah. us that illustrator file you design it and we'll make it happen yeah so yeah 
it's funny because the translation from you know your conceptual ideas yep. and, and the like sort of conceptual tech pack so to speak yep. when they come to us w we love to see that kind of work originated and, yeah. and finished and presented to us in that manner because it gives us really the full breadth of what you're looking for yeah. versus us having to guess and when we guess it's a lot of revisions right yeah and so yeah. we want to get to that to that um really what your desired output is as fast as possible because yeah. otherwise we're just wasting time and money yeah right both Absolutely. of us and yeah. that doesn't make any sense for sure yeah that's super similar to our de design process here yeah. if we yeah. don't get enough information from the client we're essentially guessing and yeah we rarely get yeah. it done first try in those cases yeah. yeah it's funny how that works yeah. communication yeah. yep exactly yeah. communication yeah. works yeah yeah so you uh so I sent over this file that yeah. basically had some call outs. Hey, this is the color I wanted. We have these bags um, that we've made. I think we've made, I'm not sure how many. We basically do 40 at a time. We sell out 40 at a time, so, sell out. So I basically wanted it to be a larger version of this, mm -hmm. same color, same kind of material. And you're like, oh, heck yeah, you know, we can make that happen. So yep. I think it was good. I, I had a vision as far as like, this is the starting point. I love this material, you know, can you just, you know, make a bigger version of this. So, mm -hmm. and that's what you guys did. Um, yeah. Turned out great. We actually have it here. Oh, uh, so that's a beaut. Yeah, this thing's great. Wow. It's cool. Yeah, you guys killed it on this. Um, I had kind of minor changes. Yeah. It was, it was basically the, uh, the inside the turning, liner yep orange like this which i'm mm -hmm. super hyped to see that that orange is amazing that's gonna yeah. pop, super pop. <laughs> yeah 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 but other than that everything was like on point from that very first sample yeah i was stoked yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys took that illustrator file and, and made it, it just happen. nailed it yeah, yeah it's yeah. um you know it's easy when you give us something like this and say this is the approximate dimension and all that it's like okay we know how to make that i mean it's yeah. all day every day for us yep. doing that and uh it's a, you know, it's, it, it is funny to take this two dimensional flat, right? And then to look at the work that actually goes into the pattern, right? Every single piece, there's probably 60 pieces make up that component, all the components. Yeah. I can't it's imagine. a lot. Yeah. The bomb for it's enormous. Yeah. And, um, the patterns are, you know, enormous as far as what we have to build for it. But this tells us everything we need to know. And if, if you get output like this, uh, in, or input, I should say, to us, yeah. then the output comes out the way you want it. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's cool. And you know, we, we um, you know, we, it's the first time we've actually embroidered profanity on a bag. <laughs> <laughs> first yeah, time for so. everything. I guess so, right? Yeah, we got our uh, draw shit tagline on there. Yeah, yep. most people don't do that. I guess. And I guess I like, not. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yep. Actually, that kind of endeared me because it shows you guys are human and you can, yeah. you know, a cuss word isn't going to offend yep. anyone. I was yeah. like, all right, I like this. I can, I can work with these guys. It's one of our top selling hats. We have a hat that says draw shit and then we have a felt banner that says draw shit and it's one of our top selling products. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. and it's a bag to carry, you know, your pencils and your sketch pad. Well, to carry your, your shit. Yeah. And your computer It's carrying <laughs> your shit so that you can draw, you know? So <laughs> I'm like, right. So I was trying to figure out, okay, what patch, what Lincoln patch goes on here, you know? And I'm like, shit, this thing should actually have the, the draw shit logo. Cause Which is cool because you mix your media a bit, right? I mm -hmm. mean, you go to embroidery there where you get yep. a different yeah, kind of tactile was, feature of it. It's hyped on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah really so cool. many nice little touches on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I see your little key ring you've adorned it with. Yep. Yeah, we yeah. have these key rings that are in the shop. So I'm like, I got to hang one on there for the yeah. zipper pull, you know? Yeah, yep. it's badass. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, super stoked. These are going to be available in our shop um, soon. Yeah, soon. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. super excited. Thank you guys for doing that. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah we're proud to have done it. Right on. I'm yeah. sure they're going to sell just as quick as, as uh, yeah. sketchbook the holders. Yeah. Sketchbook holders. Yeah. So yeah. 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 It'll be great. So now we're going to dig deeper though, Dave. What's the concrete? So, um, yeah, it's kind of something that it's not really a company agenda as much as it's uh, like an industry agenda. I've been working with a lot of industry partners to come up with ways that we can take the waste that we do end up with, right? Because there's a lot of stuff we can't repurpose. Mm -hmm. And the, the kind of elephant in the room in the textile industry is that there's 25 million pounds of textile waste a year that goes into landfill. 
So think about what the world's producing, right? What's that poundage? What's that overall yeah. volume? It's probably in the hundreds of millions of pounds, right? Yeah. And where does it go? It either gets incinerated, which has a nasty carbon footprint, or it gets put in a hole in the ground, right? Which it'll be there, if it's synthetic, it'll probably be there for 189 years. So how do we get to a point where we can minimally impact the processing of it, post its waste, and then turn it into something? Well, there's not a lot of options, but what we could do is we could displace other virgin materials that are being used, like concrete, right? Concrete's a massive, environmental disaster. Most people don't realize Yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's disgusting, right? It uses a tremendous amount of water, energy, all kinds of different things, mining operations, all the different things that, that contribute to that. How could we displace some of that virgin concrete maybe by filling it with some other kind of waste filler, right? So take all these fabric, all these fabric remnants that we have, all this deconstructed material and stick it inside a concrete block. That was, that was the idea I had, right? Yeah. Well, I, it wasn't my idea. It was somebody else's. Actually, I found uh, a young lady in Kenya who was doing this with water bottles years ago, hmm. and she has a whole YouTube channel. I'm like, okay, why, why, as you know, we as this advanced nation, why aren't we doing this? Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, we're yeah, obviously we producing way more trash and, and mm -hmm. waste. Why aren't we jumping into this? Yeah. So I reached out to industry partners all over, and you know, the the academics have ideas about it, but there's no real action there. Then there's the industry who's like, yeah, you know, they kind of, I don't mean to say it in a negative way, but it's kind of greenwashed about like, well, we're using recycled fabrics. I'm like, well, eh, that's, you know, what about yeah. the waste, yeah. right? Where's it going? Yeah. And so um, I started putting some waste in into concrete forms and yeah. I made some cinder blocks and um, it's not perfect. It's not even working yet. Yeah. Um, but we're getting closer and closer to coming up with a structural integrity that's going to work for non-critical structural components of building. So if you imagine uh, plastics that are used in Trex decking or things like that, a lot yeah. of that's recycled. Yeah. Could we then just stick materials in there that don't have any processing to them? Yeah. Hmm. Could we just, you take 30% of the mass of the volume yeah. and you replace it with textile waste, Yeah. right? So you I, keep its integrity? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the challenge, that's right? The challenge. And right now, we think our target's about thirty percent that we can that we okay. can fill in, and that's not clear yet. But we're getting closer to understanding that. Um, and it's, you know, I'm not a I'm not a chemist. I'm not a mechanical engineer. I'm none, none of right. these scientific yeah. types, right? I'm a yeah, I don't know what I am, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, you're, you know, take, a, you're taking action and doing it. Though. Well, yeah, I'm trying to, and, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, I reached out to some industry, you know, retail giants, right? Yeah. And, and I've got some big brands that are like, yes, we need to do this, but we don't even need to do it here as much as we need to make sure that other countries are doing it because they're the ones that are the mass producers. Mm -hmm. And so if we can get them to get the buy-in, then maybe this can actually take some shape. And work. So, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. great. I love that you guys are doing that. Yeah, it's it's not easy because I, I'm telling you, we hit a roadblock almost every week and you just have to figure out how to get through it. You know, yeah. it's like there's always someone, it, you know, the challenge is it comes down to money, right? Right. How do you right. make money on yeah. this? Yeah. Right. Somebody exactly. wants to make money somewhere on this yeah. and I get that. But at the same time, we also need to do it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. So. I mean, you have those bins at your yeah. warehouse and you're yeah. like, this is the waste from whatever it was, mm -hmm. like a, a week or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, we fill these things up constantly. Constantly. You know, which is you know crazy. where's it go? It's yeah. like, you know, just because the truck comes on Tuesday morning, picks right. it up and yeah. hauls it away doesn't yeah. mean that I don't have a responsibility yeah. in that process, right? Yeah. I, I should be responsible. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's great. Yeah, well, we'll see where it goes, and you yeah. know, hopefully, in in five years, you know, we're processing these regionally all in uh, across the United States, and then maybe we can prove this overseas as well. Yeah, yeah. I love get it. Nike yeah. on board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly and, right. and and you yeah. know, I, I can't really say who I'm connected to right sure. now, but there's big. It's big. It's not like That's cool. It, yeah. it, they're gonna once they say, yeah, we're on this. You know, it'll be fun to announce. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That sounds like an awesome idea. I hope it yeah. catches on. Yeah, yeah, it will. Yeah. It will. Right on. Well, that's about it, Will. I think we I, covered covered most of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with you guys and getting to know the team here at Lincoln. Yeah. It's been really cool over that's the cool. last however many months. Yeah. And uh, yep. yeah, it's been a six, nine to month deal now. Long yeah. future ahead. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. good. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks. right on. Thanks, Will. Yeah. All right, so hit that like button, subscribe, whatever you do on YouTube, and uh, thank you guys for following us. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.